Welcome back. Big news for the markets this week. The Federal Reserve meeting and the looming question whether the central bank will raise interest rates. Joining us right now is Forbes Media Chairman Steve Forbes. Steve, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, Maria. so we got some data out last couple of weeks, and now the consensus is, is that we're not going to see the Fed raise rates. You wrote that. Right, last no week. No increase in interest rates this meeting. Do you agree? And will we see it in December? Uh, you're not going to see it before the election. And uh, even though she's going to get uh, criticized, Janet Yellen, by Donald Trump for playing politics with it. But uh, maybe in December, probably between the two administrations, yes, probably then if they're going to do it at all. How high do you think rates should be right now? They're just a little bit above zero. Where do well, you think if, they if, if, if the Fed removed all restrictions and in interest rates, you would not see them much higher than they are today. Right. What the Fed has done is distort the credit markets, favoring bonds over short term loans to a small and new businesses and households. So that's distorted the economy. She would actually be helping uh, if she if she removed interest rates, which she won't this week. She would actually be helping Clinton by re allowing rates to go up instead of suppressing them. Rates being suppressed hurts economic growth. That's the counterintuitive thing we got to get our minds around. But in terms of the political impact, though, Steve, because what the Fed does does impact elections. Remember, the, the ten-year Treasury, the yield was double digits in 1980 during the during the election. But also, remember the, the remember the economy back in um, 1992. We got out of a recession early in '91, and it still hurt Bush in his re-election campaign. Well, you look at the polls today, two-thirds of the American people believe that the country's going in the wrong direction, both here at home and overseas. And what happened over the weekend is going to simply reinforce that the world is falling apart. That's not good. That's why she has to make the race about temperament. Trump's temperament is alleged dark side. She can't do it on issues. If he makes it about third term, this is why this debate's going to be so important, he will win. How damaging, how damaging are rates where they are right now for, for the broader economy? I mean, a lot of people criticize the Federal Reserve. They should have raised rates a long time ago. But the fact is, is that the economic backdrop has not warranted a much higher rates. So what, what do you think these rock-bottom zero rates have done? For the economy, well, it, for, 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 for most small businesses, it reminds you of the old Soviet Union, the saying they had there, the health care is free, but you can't get any. Uh, credit availability is still very restrictive for small and new businesses and households. And those are the job creators, small businesses. Well, and savers, the, other, the most responsible you know, people on the planet, have completely gotten stabbed in the front side and back by the Federal Reserve since absolutely. 2008. You I mean, can't make question, money Maria, in anything. The, yeah. the, the, the Fed's idea is that when it keeps rates low, it should be inducing people to spend more. And, to, and businesses to invest more. Has that happened? But the, now? The, the argument is that because rates are so low, people can't earn returns on their investments. So instead of spending more, they're actually saving more because they've got to pile more money into their nest egg so that they're ready for retirement. Yeah, that makes so sense. So the idea is that the, the whole theory of how this works hasn't held up. By the Fed's logic of suppressing interest rates like rent controls, why don't they decree? They can't, but if they could, decree a 50% of all cut in all prices in the economy. By their reckoning, boy, that'll stimulate sales because people have more money to buy stuff. Mm. We should, we, and it would, it would do the, just the opposite. Steve, millions of Americans are watching, and I know what's on their minds, and this is the question. What helps me as a middle of America? How can I do better as a middle American person with regard to the finances of this country? Get the Fed to change its policy, first of all. allow markets to set interest rates between borrower and lender and that way you will start to get credit flowing the way it normally would in an economy instead of this thing where you have Apple borrowing tens of billions of dollars in recent years in bonds uh, just, when they really don't invest. need it. Yeah, uh, that's, that's got got what the Fed has done is encourage encouraged financial engineering yeah. on a huge scale buying in stock, raising dividends, instead of normal investment. Real quick, Bank of Japan is meeting this week as well. well. well that's what I was, mm -hmm. was going to say. Is at least rates are positive here in the United States. Yeah. In Japan, they're negative, And in much of Europe right now, they're negative. So we, we, we're not in as... This isn't much of a consolation, but we're not in as bad a shape as they no, are. That matters. Matters. But, but what you've said is like, and he just hit on this, is that you literally have central bankers around the world. They're all naked and they don't know it. They really don't understand. Like, they're, what they think should happen when they make all these moves hasn't happened. And th right. they're, they're rudderless, every one of them. Mm. That's frightening.
Well, they, 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 they know what they're doing doesn't work, and that's why the Bank of England uh, changing their reserve requirements I think is going to be very helpful. I wish the Fed would do the same thing to uh, allow more of that cash to be put to work in the real economy. And the Fed should also be not uh, investing their proceeds from these bonds into longer-term bonds. They should run down their portfolio, let more cash flow into the normal economy. All right, so Fed meeting on Wednesday, Bank of Japan meeting on Thursday. You're not expecting any fireworks out of these meetings? Uh, I wish there would be positive fireworks, but no. I think it'll be more of the same. Bleed the patient, even though the patient's anemic. And the See, market is ready for this. The market and isn't going to react to it. When the well, Fed we does will, nothing, the market won't react. What are you expecting from... Uh, the market has already priced in the fact they don't right. think the Fed's going to do anything this week. But look at those futures. With all that happened in terms of the, the terror over the weekend, the stability there, that's, that's an investor that's sadly... Use, become used to this. And expecting no change this week. Right. Expecting no change right. this week. So we've got, exactly. that's why we've got a rally underway. All right, Steve, good to see you. Thank good you to so see much. You, Maria. Thank Steve you. Forbes joining Thank us.